those are big as fuck. Round two. In the Jetta. Getting ready for 2K with them shifts. Oh! We have secured the bag. Chick fil A. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, earlier, you guys saw the clips from last night. We had some crazy ass storms again here. There's actually a tornado that touched down probably about 10 minutes from here. And then luckily we got some of the smaller hail, but about 20, 30 minutes from here, they got golf ball to baseball sized hail. So we got really lucky. We only got the small sized hail. But anyways, we are back in the garage looking at the Mustang because the intercooler piping came in. So we've got some three and a half inch and some three inch piping. It's pretty nice stuff. So just some raw aluminum. Boom! Pretty much just gonna go like that. Not really. But uh, this stuff, it gets pretty expensive, especially when you get like some of the tight radius turns. So like this piece, for instance, right here is probably 20 bucks more than like a normal bend. So this stuff gets pretty expensive. You're looking at right here. Let's see, we've got, we'll lay them all out real quick. It doesn't matter if we scratch this stuff because it's gonna get welded and eventually I'll either paint it or polish it out. But for right now, we're just gonna set it out. Got some three inch. So some of this is three inch and some of this is three and a half inch just depending on where we've gotta put it. But actually, it's a decent amount of piping. But I kinda just wanna show you guys a little three inch to three and a half inch transition piece. But I just wanna show you how much piping you get. Okay, so that right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces and a transition piece, that's $300 worth of aluminum piping right there. So like I said, the little stuff really starts to add up. Um, I finally, I did actually have to order some larger key bolts for the larger couplers, so I did get those in. Um, I am, I think I've said this before, but I am gonna make a video on how much this is all costing because a couple of people have asked me if it's cheaper and it is, but the little stuff really adds up quick. So for instance, <laughs> this is a V band clamp, which is going to be the start of the downpipe coming off the turbo. That's a hundred bucks right here, 110 bucks for this little guy and the V band clamp. So for these two pieces, it was like 110 bucks shipped. It's crazy. Uh, one thing I did find out I find this hilarious because, where's this little flange at? Okay, so this is the oil drain fitting that comes off of the turbo. Now if you see, this has a circle drain, right? This is from Precision. First of all, when you order a turbo, they don't send you any fittings or any of the hardware, which I find hilarious. You spend a lot of money for a turbo and you don't get any of that. Anyways, Precision sells this flange, but the one that comes off the turbo is a square fitting. And you don't want to mix the two because it may sound dumb, but with a square going into the circle, you're gonna restrict some flow. It's a very minimal amount, but I did look up and some people, it did cause smoking, cause issues with the turbo, and you don't wanna cause any issues with the turbo because this shit's expensive to replace. So I actually had to order another AN fitting that actually has a square port that goes into a circle to go for the AN fitting. Um, but yeah, I find that hilarious. The Precision doesn't even sell the square fittings and you have to go buy it somewhere else. I don't know, really weird. Anyways, Joseph's gonna come over later. We're pretty much gonna go over everything that we have and I'll vlog it when he gets here, but we're gonna go over all the piping we have, all the hot parts, all the V-bands, all the couplers, T-bolts, fittings, turbo, wastegate, blow valve, intercooler. We're pretty much gonna lay everything out and see if we're missing something or if we didn't order enough piping, whatever the case may be. But 
we'll pick this vlog back up when he comes over tonight and kind of map it out with you guys. And uh, we'll kind of give you guys a timeline and what we're working with. But I'm excited, we're close. So, we'll see you guys tonight. Cupcake, what are you doing? Finally, the posters are going out. Oh my lord. I watched my tape still. Took forever, yeah. <laughs> As long as it doesn't fall out, we'll be good. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Posters are finally going out. Sorry it took so long. Back to the vlog. All right, so here's the turbo kit. It's complete. We can just toss it in, tune the car. We are good to go. Not! So, huge shout out to Joseph for coming over. We pretty much just went over everything to make sure we weren't missing anything. The only things I still need to get is an oil feed line, but we won't know how long of one to get until everything's mounted up. So we'll get that last probably. And then the only thing I'm missing is some vacuum lines and some fittings for that, but that's no big deal. I can get that at the auto parts store tomorrow. I was just kind of waiting to see how many like 90s and T fittings I would need. Um, still the biggest thing though is got to get this coolant reservoir tank out of the way. So I'm going to research tonight on a universal one and I'll probably just end up mounting it somewhere over here or somewhere over there. We'll figure that out. Um, so that's kind of like the next biggest piece I need to order. Other than that, we pretty much have everything. He's got enough. Uh, welding materials for now. Obviously, I have to replace them because <laughs> uh, we're going to use a lot. Um, we think the thing that's going to take the longest is pretty much getting the manifolds on because there's an AC line that goes under the 18s. So we'll have to move that. So pretty much the plan is to drop the stock header, stock exhaust. I'll bring the stock exhaust home because obviously we're going to have an exhaust either out the hood or out the bumper. You guys will see that coming up soon, hopefully. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll drop the oil pan, we'll drill the oil pan, we'll put this bulkhead fitting in there because it is a plastic oil pan so we do have to be very careful with that but we're going to use this bulkhead fitting that way it doesn't leak um, and that will be for the return line up to the turbo so once that part's done, which shouldn't take long at all, then we'll start mounting the CG Fab hot parts kit. We will mount the manifolds up, get the crossover pipe, get the merge pipe up there and then we can mount the turbo. And once the turbo is mounted, then we can start routing and cutting and figuring out exactly how the intercooler piping is going to go. And then Joseph can start welding those pieces together while I'm kind of tinkering with everything else. Um, bolting the manifolds actually down, getting everything tight, and uh, pretty much doing small things here and there. So we're definitely going to run into a few issues, I'm sure, because this is, it's not a home-built turbo kit, but it kind of is, like the hot parts kit is made specifically for this car. However, we have to fab all the cold side stuff. And people have used this hot parts kit before. It's not like it doesn't mount up or everything doesn't match up, but it is handmade in a shop somewhere. So there could be some imperfections and we'll find those out once we start mounting everything. Hopefully it all goes smooth. Um, I did figure out what this pipe was for. Well, actually Joseph did. That pipe is actually going to replace the rubber lower radiator hose because that's going to be near the manifold and the turbo and uh, that stuff's going to get really hot so it would definitely melt that coolant line which would not be good. So that's what goes there. Um, that's pretty much it though. I'm really excited to start this. We think tentatively Joseph's working on the Trans Am um, so he's got a lot going on with that car so I don't want to disrupt anything he's doing on that. Um, but we think Thursday. So tentatively Thursday, and we'll kinda, I don't know, we don't know how long it's gonna take. It may take a week, it may, two, it may take two weeks, we don't know for sure, because the hardest part, like I said, is gonna be doing the headers, the manifolds, and then he's gotta pretty much create this large cold side pipe. I mean, he has to do the other side to the turbo, but that's a short piece and he doesn't think that'll be that bad. But this one, going up to the throttle body and then coming around the frame and then going to the intercooler. There's a lot going on there because this is a three and a half inch pipe. We've got to weld it. And then we got to transition to a three inch to hit the intercooler and then three inch from that side up to the turbo, which is three inch also. So yeah, 
definitely going to be some fun welding. Also, I do still need to order a downpipe kit because you can use aluminum as a downpipe if you're wondering, but you need to use thicker gauge aluminum. So there's special aluminum for downpipes. Um, in case something goes wrong, you definitely need to run thicker aluminum. So we'll run some thicker aluminum. I'm trying to find that flange. Oh yeah. So this is the downpipe flange right here. And we'll have the exhaust coming off there. There's a little V-band clamp for it. And I haven't said exactly where the exhaust is gonna go, but you guys are gonna find out once we start building that. But the exhaust, the downpipe, exhaust, whatever you wanna call it, is gonna be one of the last pieces built because we gotta get the intercooler piping, all that stuff all matched up. So that'll be one of the last videos, but there'll be tons of footage for you guys, so hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this. But I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys had an awesome weekend. Make sure you always comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, Vanvy39. Follow Joseph at Streetcar Joe on Instagram. We'll see you guys on the next one.